An attack happened overnight at Saudi Arabia's border near a town called Najran by Yemen Shiite rebels. The fighting is considered the biggest assault on the Saudi soil since the Saudi military campaign began. The fighting killed three Saudi troops and dozens of Shiite rebels. Jackie, how do you feel about this recent retaliation now since Saudi Arabia was struck overnight? and how they've now retaliated by striking the capital of Striking Sanat. back. Yes. I, I don't think it's surprising. I think it's to be expected, truthfully. Uh, this is, as you said, it's the biggest attack on Saudi Arabian soil, and that's the very thing that Saudi Arabia has been fearful of, right? You don't want attacks on your own soil. They've been performing airstrikes in Yemen, keeping it away from their own borders as much as possible. And now these, uh, the Houthis or the, these Yemen Shiite rebels have really stepped it up a notch. That is concerning for everyone. Obviously, this is not heading toward a peaceful resolution. It seems to be heading in the opposite direction right now. Yeah, and these groups are capitalizing on the location of Yemen and capitalizing on the economic hardships of the people. So does the U.S. need to step in now for the sake of these people who are being displaced from their home and the Yemen people who are suffering due to these terrorist groups and groups coming in and seizing? their capitals. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think that's the question, right? To what degree is the United States going to be, going to feel responsible for stepping in? Obviously, we know the U.S. performed a drone strike uh, just last week. Uh, that was against al-Qaeda, so technically a different group. But again, it is all interconnected in talking about this area of the world. The United States is deemed as someone, and obviously is an ally of Saudi Arabia. So. The question is whether or not the United States is going to come in, going to step up. I don't know. Uh, certainly, we're not going to put boots on the ground. I don't think we're, we're, we're talking about that. But increased drone strikes, that wouldn't totally shock me. Yeah, I think the protection of some of these oil and, and, these, and definitely the people of Yemen, we might have to step in and definitely help. Yeah, I mean, the question, you know, then you want to get into a conversation on drone strikes and, you know, how accurate the drone strikes are and, and obviously civilians have lost their lives because of drone strikes. That's a, you know, that's a more complicated conversation. Mm -hmm. It's one the United States is undertaking right now, particularly with the passing of Warren Weinstein, uh, who was killed in a US drone strike. He is an American who was a hostage. But that, it seems, was bad, uh, bad intel, as opposed to the fault of the drone strike itself. So uh, it is, it's really a complicated question as to what the United States is going to do. Yeah, Who knows? I, I think they're effective right now because of there's so many groups and we're not sure what to do at the moment. So as a result, these drone attacks is, again, not putting our men out there to, uh, on the line. But again, we'd like to hear what you think about the drone attacks and supporting Yemen and the current crisis that is happening with Saudi Arabia. Please leave your comments below and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.